In our next edition of the Integrative Hermetic Health Show, Hugo Rodier, an MD with an integrative medicine perspective, will discuss a very promising article validating our many previous discussions of physicians' general lack of knowledge of nutrition. Here's a clip where Dr. Irvin Sani discusses his experience and point of view on the problem. So one of the things you can do is, you know, change your diet. You know, to, to stay healthy, diet has a big impact on it. You, one of the, the uh, quotes that you gave us last year for the quest was, you know, I said, how much education did you get in medical school on, on nutrition? You said, right. pretty much none. Pretty much none. You know, let's expound upon that. It, you know, our, I, mean, it, it, I don't know how it is now. You would hope that it would be better, but I'm not so sure that it is. Um, and this all goes back to, I think, something you did talk about in one of the, one of the uh, episodes. We did. The Flexner Report. Mm-hmm. And basically how corporate America, once again, intervened, limited people's choice, controlled the, controlled the narrative, and uh, basically, had, basically influenced on what kind of medical education the doctors get. But the current medical education, and I went to one of the best medical schools in the country, Baylor College of Medicine, it's an outstanding school, uh, but this is what they taught. And, and you know, we spent, Inordinate number, um, inordinate amount of time in basic science. There's a basic science and there's clinicals. So basic science is the first portion of medical school where you learn uh, science. You learn out of a book, basically, sit in a classroom. And we went on and on and on about all kinds of different pharmaceutical drugs. Uh, we did have a nutrition course, and basically, here's vitamin D, and here's the molecule, and here's the uh, here's the mechanism of vitamin D, and here's how someone gets rickets, that kind of thing but not here's how to eat, or you should tell your patients to eat this way, or mm-hmm. eat naturally, or synthetic vitamins versus natural vitamins, or anything along those lines. And, and it was literally a few days maybe, you know, that we cover that kind of stuff. I mean, certainly vitamin D might come up a couple times again, but we're, again, we're talking about the molecule and metabolism, and that's important information, but that's not learning nutrition, and that's not learning practically right. how to educate someone. You know, just like they don't teach doctors a, 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 a thing about business, you know, and then they ultimately come out and a lot of them suffer uh, for that reason, you know, trying to run their own business. And so, you know, who knows, maybe that's by design as well. But, mm. uh, you know, it's, anyway, different topic. But certainly the education that we get concerning nutrition is non-existent. It was non-existent. Pretty much none mm. is probably an overstatement. Pretty much none. Yeah, pretty so, much none yeah. is too much. Uh, we, was, <laughs> you know, because you know, I, didn't, I didn't really understand practical nutrition, mm-hmm. if you will, until well after med school, until after being in practice. So you, lear- you learned it after school? Sure. After you got out of, out of medical school? Which is very normal as a yeah. doctor. There's a lot of surgical procedures that I've learned mm-hmm. because, I mean, we don't go back to residency every time a new procedure comes out. Sure. You know, we have to be able to re-educate ourselves. But the person has to be willing to, to endeavor in that re-education. And, see, and so, you know, I told you the story. We'll, we'll talk about it again. When I was in the midst of losing weight, um, I was um, juicing and, you know, so many different ways to do it. And there's so many different healthy ways to do it. I chose intermittent fasting and I chose juicing and I was going green and raw and trying to stay away from processed foods and so forth. And I ran into a doctor in the doctor's lounge at a hospital here locally. And we talked about this and I, you know, I said, Hey, you know, if you lose weight, you get off diet, you know, just sort of talked about the benefits. This goes, well, why would you do that? He goes, I'm just going to eat my cheese nachos and take my cholesterol medicine, you know. In our program, we'll bring our audience up to speed on how bad the problem still is. Lack of adequate knowledge about nutrition in both doctors and patients is holding our national health care in hostage. Further, we discussed this disturbing CBS report about a recent study showing some very serious problems regarding a connection between teenagers' mental health and social networking. Please join us for a stimulating discussion with Dr. Rodier about the critical need for nutritional training for physicians and the potential danger for teenage obsession with social media.